Soap. Introduction to soap. Imagine a world without soap. Sounds pretty grimy, doesn't it? The simple yet incredible invention plays a crucial role in our daily lives, from washing our hands to cleaning our clothes. It's so common that we often overlook its importance and fascinating nature. But what really is soap? How does it manage to keep us clean and hygienic? In this blog, we'll embark on a bubbly journey through the history, science, and fun facts about soap. Get ready to lather up some knowledge and discover the extraordinary world of soap. The History of Soap Soap's story begins in ancient times, with the earliest records dating back to around 2800 BC in ancient Babylon. Here, archaeologists found a soap-like substance in clay cylinders, suggesting that even our distant ancestors understood the basic idea of cleanliness. The early soap was quite different from what we use today. It was typically made from a mixture of animal fats and ashes, which ancient peoples discovered could clean things better than water alone. This rudimentary soap wasn't particularly pleasant by today's standards, but it was revolutionary in its time. The art of soap making evolved through various civilizations. The Egyptians, famous for their attention to cleanliness and hygiene, used a substance similar to soap for bathing and treating skin diseases as early as 1500 BC. Meanwhile, the ancient Romans had a more accidental discovery. They noticed that after heavy rains, a certain kind of clay from Mount Sapo would mix with animal fats and wood ash, creating a cleaning substance. This phenomenon, though not scientifically accurate, gave birth to the term saponification, which is the chemical process of making soap. As we march through history, soap making became more refined and widespread. By the 7th century, soap was a common commodity in the Islamic world, with soap making factories established in places like Nablus, Kufa, and Basra. The quality of soap improved significantly during this period with vegetable oils replacing animal fats and aromatic oils added for fragrance. In Europe, soap making remained a household craft until the 12th century, when the first large-scale soap factories were established in Italy and Spain. However, soap was still a luxury item, affordable only by the wealthy. It wasn't until the Industrial Revolution in the 19th century that soap became more accessible to the general public. This era brought significant advancements in chemistry and manufacturing, leading to the mass production of cheaper, higher quality soap. From a humble mixture of fats and ashes to the wide array of scented, moisturizing, and antibacterial bars we see today, soap has come a long way. Its journey through history is as rich and diverse as the cultures that contributed to its development. Great, let's continue with the next two sections focusing on the science behind soap and the different types of soap available. The science behind soap. Soap may seem like magic, but it's actually science at work. At its core, soap is a cleaning agent that's made from fats and oils, combined with an alkali like sodium hydroxide. The resulting chemical reaction is called saponification. But how does this simple concoction clean? The power of soap lies in its unique molecular structure. Each soap molecule has two distinct parts, a hydrophobic water-hating tail and a hydrophilic water-loving head. When you wash with soap and water, these molecules work together to attack dirt and grease. The hydrophobic tails latch onto the oil and dirt particles, while the hydrophilic heads remain anchored in the water. This creates a micelle, a spherical structure where dirt gets trapped in the center by the soap molecules. When you rinse off, the water washes away the micelles along with the trapped dirt and grime. But soap does more than just clean, it also has the ability to kill bacteria and viruses, including the likes of the common cold and flu. This is because many of these microorganisms have lipid fat membranes that are similar to the oily substances soap is designed to break down. When soap comes into contact with these germs, it literally pulls apart and demolishes these membranes, rendering the germs inactive. Types of soap There's a soap for every occasion and preference. The most common types are bar soap, liquid soap, and powdered soap. 
each made using different methods and ingredients. 1. Bar soap. This is the traditional form of soap and is typically made from a combination of animal fat or vegetable oil and an alkali. Bar soaps are versatile and come in various formulations, from moisturizing and gentle to antibacterial and exfoliating. 2. Liquid soap. Introduced in the 1970s, liquid soap has become increasingly popular for hand washing. It's made in a similar way to bar soap but with a different kind of fat and a higher water content. Liquid soap often contains added moisturizers and is considered more hygienic due to its packaging. 3. Powdered soap used primarily for cleaning clothes and dishes. Powdered soap is made by combining liquid soap with a powdering agent. It's effective for heavy-duty cleaning tasks and is often chosen for its economic benefits and longer shelf life. Apart from these, there are specialty soaps like glycerin soap, which is known for its moisturizing properties, and castile soap, made exclusively from vegetable oils, known for its mildness and eco-friendliness. Each type of soap has its unique benefits and uses, catering to different needs and preferences. Certainly, let's move on to the next sections, covering the soap making process and some fun facts about soap. Soap making process. Soap making is both an art and a science. The basic processes remain largely unchanged over centuries, involving the combination of fats or oils with an alkali. There are two main methods, the traditional cold process and the modern hot process. 1. Cold process. This is the more traditional method of soap making and involves mixing an alkali usually lye with fats or oils. When combined, they start a chemical reaction known as saponification. The mixture is then poured into molds and takes about 24 minus 48 hours to set. It must then cure for about 4 to 6 weeks. This method allows for a lot of creativity with colors, scents, and additives. 2. Hot process. In the hot process, the saponification reaction is accelerated by adding heat. After combining the alkali and oils, the mixture is cooked, which speeds up the reaction and reduces the curing time. The soap is ready to use once it cools and hardens, which can be as little as a week. Here's a simple recipe. Ingredients. Lye, water, coconut oil, olive oil, and your choice of essential oils for fragrance. Safety first. Wear gloves and goggles to protect against lye splashes. Mix the lye and water, then combine with the oils. Blend until it reaches trace when the mixture thickens. Add your essential oils, pour into molds, and let it set. Remember, precision is key in soap making, as the ratio of lye to fat must be exact. It's a blend of chemistry and creativity. Fun facts about soap. Now for some bubbly trivia to make your next soap encounter more interesting. 1. Ancient Soap Recipe The ancient Romans had a recipe for soap involving urine. Thankfully, modern soap has come a long way since then. 2. Soap Operas Did you know the term soap opera originated from radio dramas sponsored by soap manufacturers in the 1930s? These dramas were aimed at housewives and soap ads were a major feature. 3. Floating Soap In 1879, Procter & Gamble accidentally created floating soap. A worker left the soap mixer running while on a lunch break, incorporating air into the mixture. The resultant ivory soap was a huge hit. 4. Galactic Soap There's a type of nebula called the Soap Bubble Nebula. This space structure resembles a giant cosmic soap bubble. Perfect! Let's wrap up our soap blog with the final section, focusing on the role of soap in health and hygiene. The role of soap in health and hygiene. Soap is more than just a cleaning agent. It's a vital tool in the fight against diseases. Regular hand washing with soap is one of the simplest and most effective ways to prevent the spread of illnesses. When you wash your hands with soap and water, you're not just wiping away dirt and grime. You're also reducing the presence of harmful bacteria and viruses. 
This simple practice has immense public health implications. For instance, hand washing with soap can significantly reduce the incidence of diarrheal diseases, which are among the leading causes of death in children under five worldwide. Additionally, during the COVID-19 pandemic, the role of soap became even more critical. Frequent hand washing with soap was one of the key recommendations by health authorities to prevent the spread of the virus. Soap's role in hygiene extends beyond hand washing. It's essential for body hygiene, preventing skin infections, and even oral hygiene in some cultures. In hospitals and healthcare settings, soap is crucial for sterilizing instruments and surfaces, further underscoring its importance in maintaining health and cleanliness. The story of soap is a testament to human ingenuity and our ongoing quest for cleanliness and health. From ancient recipes to modern antibacterial formulations, soap continues to play a vital role in our daily lives and overall well-being.